Hello everyone, my name is Ian Beck, uh, one of the PhD students in the department. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about heat transfer enhancement of aluminum fluid by the nylon surfactor in a uh, heat pipe. I prepare six sections. A common problem, a common problem in electronic device is managing summer conditions for optimal efficiency. Fundamentally, we can divide the cooling technique uh, into two categories, active cooling system and passive cooling system. Active cooling refers to cooling technologies that rely on an um, external device to enhance soft heat transfer. Active cooling system includes forced convection through fans or drawers which can be used to optimal thermal management. The disadvantages of active cooling are that, are that it requires the use of electricity and has a size limitation. Passive cooling system, passive cooling utilizes nature, conduction, convection, and radiation to cool up components. Passive cooling system includes heat pipe and heat sink, both of which utilize fundamental heat transfer principle. The advantages of passive cooling techniques lie in the energy efficiency and lower cost, financial cost. Heat pipe has many factors affecting heat transfer performance. I control properties of I control three factors properties of working fluid, filling ratio and heat input. Working fluid includes nanofluid, nanoparticles that was chosen as aluminum. And I focused on two different working fluid properties. Thermal conductivity and surface tension. Aluminum nanoparticles are widely used in many applications biotechnology, publishing, material science, and heat transfer. Surface tension and thermal conductivity of aluminum nanoparticles with different type of surfactant were measured to identify if the effect of surfactant. As you can see the figure 4, aluminum nanoply with SDVS surfactant had the lowest surface tension followed by with LB and then with SDVS. Although the aluminum nanoply added Surfactants were significantly decreased than that of aluminum fluid without surfactants, without the release of the type of surfactants. SDVS could decrease the surface tension of aluminum fluid the most. And it is clearly observed that the addition of surfactant decreased the summer conductivity of 0.5% of aluminum fluid, regardless of the type of surfactant. The group of addition of LB shows the highest, highest thermal conductivity, and the group of addition of SDBS shows the lowest thermal conductivity among the surfactant. So the concept of this study is as follows. To improve the, to improve the performance of heat pipe, nanofluids with reduced surface tension are used as working fluid using SDB, SDBS, which is an iron surface. The process of Preparing working fluid is shown in figure 6. And the number of fluids is 4. This is the 
water, alumina oxalate, and alumina oxalate with SPVS, and distilled water with SPVS. All those samples, except for distilled water, were ultrasonicated for two hours to disperse the Skeletic diagram of the heat pipe experimental apparatus and photograph of the entire setup are is shown in figure A. Heat pipe was fabricated by copper tube, and heat pipe consists of three main joints: evaporation section, adiabatic section, condensation section. Uh, the heating system was from a resistance wire heater of which the heat input was adjusted 5 and 10 and 15 watts by adjusting by using the voltage regulator. Some performance of heat pipe was evaluated in terms of thermal resistance and heat transfer coefficient. Each, each parameter was calculated by equation 1 and 2. The result of thermal resistance is shown in figure 9 and figure 10. It is clearly observed that the thermal resistance decreases in accordance with increasing heat input. And it, had, it mostly has a tendency to, in, to rise with increasing the filling ratio. The fluid with SPVS has a higher thermal resistance than distilled water in case of 30% of filling ratio. However, the fluid with SPVS had similar or lower thermal resistance in case of exceeding 30% of filling ratio. The result of heat transfer coefficient is shown in figure 11 and figure 12. It is obviously shown that the heat transfer coefficient decreases in, in accordance with increasing of with increase of heat input, and it has a tendency to rise with increasing filling ratio. The fluids with SDBS had the had lower heat transfer coefficient than distilled water in case of 30% of filling ratio. However, the fluids with SDBS have similar or higher heat transfer coefficients than distilled water in case of exceeding 30% of filling ratio. In conclusion, all kind of surfactant substantially reduce surface tension of alumina nanofluid, especially alumina nanofluid with 1.5 weight percent of SDVS has the lowest surface tension. It was confirmed that the nanofluid with only alumina has the, the highest thermal conductivity, followed by the nanofluid with LB, with SPS, and with SPVS. In other words, the thermal conductivity of alumina nanofluid decreases with the addition of surfactants. It was revealed that the thermal conductivity of alumina nanofluid was decreased with the addition of surfactants. In particular, alumina nanofluid added 1.5 weight percent of SPDS showed the lowest thermal conductivity.
The heat transfer performance of the heat pipe with solution added 1.5% of SPDS could be improved in case of filling ratio exceeding 30%. When the heat, when the heat input was 15 watts, the effect of reduced surface tension on heat transfer performance of heat pipe obviously appeared. Thank you for your attention.